Hey kids, <laughs> good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever the case may be for you. Yeah, this is kind of an added on story to my uh, Kalamazoo River Valley trail experience where I ran away. I ended up at my big brother's house eventually. And, uh, he ended up getting me a ticket to get up north. He knew what I was going to do. I was going to go out there in the woods and live. All that after I watched a Disney movie called My Side of the Mountain. About a kid who ran away about my age. He lived in a, in a hollowed out um, tree, basically. I didn't quite get to that that point. I had a, a few tarps and blankets and other supplies and a Bowie knife and a hatchet. I thought I had it all. Well, about two weeks barely surviving in that environment. I just, I, just before that, I. I wanted to go, because my grandmother lived not far from there. That's how I knew the place, I knew how the, the area existed. So I uh, thought I snuck up. Uh, here I am, 14, with a white t-shirt. Grandma spotted me. She called the state police. She didn't know I was anywhere near there. No, I was from 150 miles south of there. After that, I decided, well, I need to go get some supplies. And I had, I don't know, about eight bucks and some change on me. Figured I'd get some bread and some proteins, you know. And I uh, started heading back, and the state police, after Grandma called them, they would pass me. <laughs> He backed up. He got me. Yep. Took me to Grandma's house and said, You know this guy? Yeah, that's my grandson from down south. He ran away a few weeks ago. <laughs> well, they, they took me back to the state police post. It was, they think it was probably about 14, 15 miles south of there. And they, uh, they, of course, had me handcuffed because I was a runaway up in front. They handcuffed me to this bar, basically, at this desk. Big mistake. As soon as they left the room, I slid over there to the desk, opened it up, pulled a paper clip out. <laughs> Got my cuffs off, but I sat there. Yeah, you know. I stayed there. About the time Mom showed up, he came out there and said, Hey, you got out of them cuffs. And I'm like, you put me at a desk. You know, we can charge you for that crap. Whatever. Anyway, uh, Mom showed up. And uh, we got out in the parking lot. She says, well, what do you want to do? She was giving me the option to continue doing what I was doing or come home. I knew it had been pretty rough those two weeks. And I knew it was time to go. So, she took me back to my campsite, saw all that I had you know, done there. We gathered everything up. She took me we back home. You know, I felt like I had achieved some respect from her. You know, I gained some skills and some confidence from 
I don't suggest letting your 14 year old head off into the woods like that. You take them out there, show them what's going on. Show them that eating the comforts in life don't come so easy. Maybe let them watch My Side of the Mountain if you can find it. It was a Disney film. Anyway, that was my experience. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back for more. Oh, yeah, there's more to come. I'm coming up with new memories. Not coming up with, but having new memories all the time. Till then, hey, it's good to see y'all. And I want to see you back here again for the next one. Till then, peace out.